I tried 60 different peptide serums. If you want to have an effective skincare routine, you absolutely need to include peptides. Peptides are one of the three mandatory active ingredients when it comes to anti-aging. They boost collagen and elastin production, but they also help with a variety of other skin concerns. Texture, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, discoloration, hydration, but not all peptides on the market are the same. Most are actually quite in effective and not even dare calling them useless. There are four different classes of peptides. You need to have a variety of different peptides that are included in your serum. Otherwise, they just don't do anything. I suggest watching my previous episode, which is on type of peptides and exactly how to pick the right peptide to make sure that you're not wasting your money. I will link it down below. But today I'm giving you a shortcut, the absolute 10 best peptide serums on the market today. And yes, some of them are actually quite affordable. Hi, I'm Desi Stark and I have been experimenting with luxury skincare and beauty products and fashion products for the last 25 years of my life. I'm also on SVP in finance. Today I'm also doing a skincare giveaway. I'm super excited about that. I think I'm going to be doing this very, very often from now on. Stay until the end of this video so you can find out how to qualify. I do have quite a few goodies. I do have as a giveaway, a brand new Zip Halo, a lot of Kel, some professional serum. I do have the hair serum. I have a bunch of shampoos and conditioners. These are in no particular order. All of them are effective in a different way. I'll start with actually the two best and most unique serums. I've also been using them the longest. And I'll talk about these two kind of at the same time because they're very similar in formulation there's a big difference in price and I'm talking about the line serum from Alter and the ultra peptide cross lift serum by MBR. So both of these serums contain a variety of peptides at a very high concentration level and as I mentioned before you want that you want a high concentration of peptides because that's the only way that they'll actually work. What's unique about both of these serums is they do contain Cynic which is a neurotransmitter peptide and neurotransmitter peptides simulate the effects of Botox. I have to tell you that I feel like Cynic is in a higher dosage here and a higher concentration in the line serum. That's why I think it's called the line serum because it does kind of smooth over your lines. It, it relaxes them pretty much. It freezes your lines a little bit. Now, Cynic is never going to function as completely the same as Botox, but it is modeled after, after Botox. There's also one very, very, very special and unique thing about both of these serums. They do contain a cyclopeptide and a cyclopeptide is a circular peptide. So a peptide is actually made out of short amino acid chains that are kind of linked together. They're bound together. And in skincare, usually you can have anywhere between two and 10 short amino acid chains that are kind of put together so they can form a peptide. The more short amino acid chains you have in that peptide, the more expensive the peptide is because it's more complex. That's why in cheaper skincare you see a lot of tripeptides, which are three amino acid chains because they're smaller. In these two serums you have something very unique. A circular peptide is something that you don't find in any other peptide serum anywhere. And I think this is what makes them very very special and also slightly expensive because a circular peptide is very complex to formulate. These two serums contain a variety of different peptides so it's not just the too. It's not just the Cynic and, and the circular peptide, but it's worth to mention because Cynic is an ingredient that is rather expensive and you don't actually see it in skincare a lot. If you ask me which one to pick between the line serum and the cross lift ultra peptide by MBR. I'll definitely go with the line serum any any time of the day, any day of the week, just because it's almost half the price actually. But everything in here is at a higher concentration level. So this is more effective. It's less expensive. The only thing that the ultra peptide cross lift by 
MBR has that the line serum doesn't have is the very unique, very sophisticated scent, which you actually find in a variety of, of, of the MBR products. This is unscented, and I know that a lot of people prefer unscented products anyway, so it's not a big loss. The third peptide serum I want to tell you about is from May Love, and it's called the Peptide Squad. This is quite an affordable product, and it's also somewhat of a new product for, for May Love, and if you can grab it, you better buy it because it sells out very, very quickly when it comes in stock. This is a very complete peptide serum. It does have representation by all four groups of peptides, so it's very unique in that way. I think it's light years ahead when it comes to comparing this product to other affordable skincare on the market. It does have a hint of copper, which is the only thing that bothers me about it. I don't like the scent of copper, but it's not a it's not a big problem. It's not very intense. It's actually quite subtle. This is, I would call, a spectacular deal because for that price that you're paying for May Love, if you've never heard of May Love, May Love is actually a, a quite an affordable skincare line. I will have a, a separate video. I've been actually testing all the products and some are some are good, some are great, some are not so so, but this one is absolutely spectacular actually, especially for the, the price. One other very unique thing, all the, the May Love serums actually come in this type of bottle, just a very simple glass bottle with a, with a pipette. But this serum is, uh, as you can see, it's blue. Now, when you apply it on your skin, it doesn't stay blue, obviously. Now, you're not going to find the highest concentration of peptides in this because it's still a, an affordable, kind of inexpensive product, but it's enough to actually work. Next, I want to tell you about the Regenerative Serum by 8 Day Skin. This is actually an impressive product. The packaging is quite simple, probably very inexpensive, and I think that's why they can afford to sell that product at that price point. The 8 Day Serum contains a peptide-rich plasma, and it's a proprietary ingredient that was actually developed by the brand, and it's patent pending. It's quite complex. It's 24 different peptides, it's amino acids, it's, it's hyaluronic acid, it, it's a lot of things that are put in one. It does also contain a neurotransmitter peptide, which is a peptide that's simulated after Botox. Now, it's not Cynic. Technically, they didn't get Cynic, but it is a formula that is very, very, very close to Cynic. I think they tweaked it a, a little bit, so they call it their own, so they don't have to pay the company who owns Cynic. And that's very smart because it's technically Cynic, but it's not. And it does work exactly the same. This is a very unique brand. I think they just got into Neiman Marcus. I think the whole brand is actually quite successful. They don't have a lot of products. I've tested all of them and all of them are amazing. But my preference out of the whole brand would be the Regenerative Serum because it does work. It contains the peptides that you need. You don't need to buy a different hyaluronic acid serum because it contains hyaluronic acid as well. It's it's a very kind of complete product and it does replace a lot of your other serums. So this could be your only serum. And the concentration level of the peptides in this serum is actually quite high because this serum does work. The serum also contains GABA, Manuka honey, niacinamide, glycolic acid. It, it's a very unique and complex product. And it also comes in three different sizes. And I, I really love when brands do that because you can start with a smaller size and kind of test the product and then upgrade. The next brand that I want to tell you about is Allies of Skin. And I actually tested two peptide serums from Allies of Skin because one of them is a product that you can use in the morning or at night. The other one, the second one contains retinol so you can only use it at night. So I decided to test both of them. They're actually very, very similar in composition and formulation. They both contain seven different peptides, but the one that you can use in the morning and at night contains vitamin C. It does not have any retinoids. The one that you can use at night contains retinol 
retinol. If you don't know, retinol is actually a step above retinol, but not as good as tretinoin or the regular retinoids. So if you have a sensitivity to tretinoin, if tretinoin is very, very strong for you and you have never tried retinol, retinol may be a good idea for you. So I'll definitely suggest the night cream. And the night cream that contains retinol also, I consider this probably to be the best deal out of all of these here. Unless you're using separate retinol product or tretinoin, then you don't need that. You may want to consider the other one, the one for, for the morning, because you can technically use it morning and night or just at night, it doesn't really matter. But if you're not using tretinoin, this is probably the best deal out of all these serums here. It contains ginseng root, it contains retinol, it contains seven different peptides. So it's a very complete night product, which you technically would need any other serums if you're just using this one. The seven different peptides that are included in both are kind of representation from three out of the four different groups of peptides. So that's enough of a variety of peptides. So I think it's also a very complete product. I was actually very much impressed by the products because of the price specifically. I think Allies of Skin has kind of developed a very loyal customer base because of that, because they have good prices. The quality is still good. Let's see what's gonna happen in the future with that brand. I'm fairly certain that this brand will be sold in the next couple of years. And we don't know what's gonna happen in, with the quality of, of the brand and the direction of the brand. But for right now, these products are actually quite good quality at a very reasonable price. PCA Skin. So I did try the, the most famous product, which is the actually the peptide serum. It's called x -Linea Peptide Pro Serum. They actually have two versions. The newest product, peptide-related re product, is called the Peptide Smoothing Serum. The smoothing serum is, I think, $30 less. But I did like the other one, the Pro Peptide Serum, a little bit. It seems to be working a little bit faster, and my skin agreed with it a little bit better. So here's the uniqueness of these two products. And I, and I also have to call the X Linea Pro Serum a very kind of a good deal and a very unique product as well, because it does have a representation of a variety of different peptide groups. It does contain argireline and argireline is a neurotransmitter peptide. It's kind of like Cynic. It's modeled after Botox, which so simulates the effects of Botox. It also contains SNAP8, which is an octapeptide. That's another patented peptide that um, has been on the market for a while, but it's also rather expensive. So I don't see a lot of people using it, but it is a successful peptide it actually works for anti-aging. Also, I do have to point out that this product also contains algae and algae is expensive. So I think this specific product, the X Linea Pro Serum, is a really, really amazing deal because they put all these expensive ingredients at, at sort of a high, high concentration level and, and I think they all work. And this is a peptide video, so I definitely have to go with the Pro peptide serum. The next peptide serum is the Cell Forte serum by Angela Caglia. If you haven't heard of Angela Caglia, I think she's actually become quite famous nowadays in the kind of the beauty industry because the Cell Forte serum won a bunch of different awards now in 24 and even back in 23. And the reason being is the ingredient that they're using in the Cell Forte serum is actually a patented ingredient now. And it's actually a combination between different peptides and, and human stem cells. When you have patents, usually they're clinical studies and, and clinical trials. So they prove that that serum works for anti-aging and it does. Now, this is not an affordable. The previous quite a few serums were more affordable. This is not, but the difference between effectiveness of this product and let's say the Maylav Peptide Squat Serum is night and day. It's as if I'm comparing a Dolce Gabbana dress to Zara dress. You, you just, you can't. There is a reason why more expensive products are more effective. Yeah, not all expensive skincare or beauty products or fashion products or not everything that's super expensive is actually amazing functional and effective. That is not the case. I've been experimenting with luxury stuff for the last 25 years and 30% of everything luxury is absolute crap. But this particular serum, the Cell Forte, 
it's kind of worth it. I don't know that I prefer it more to the line serum or the ultra peptide by MBR, but it's up there. I actually have only one issue with this serum, with the cell for test serum, and this is just my thing. Because it contains human stem cells, I have the eek factor. Eek. I'm a very logical person, I'm more on the science side, I am in finance, I'm good in math. So there's no logical explanation why that is, but just the fact that it's human stem cells that are in my product, I do get the kind of the, the ick thing. And again, these are teeny, teeny, tiny little cells. It should not affect me in any way. I still get that I think it's kind of a subconscious message from out there somewhere that it's someone else's cells that I'm putting on my skin. But again, I know that you probably don't feel that way. This is just, once again, my thing. So please ignore that. I just had to share that. Revision Skincare. I did try two different serums from, from Revision. One of them was the Revox Line Relaxer and the other one is their newer product, Revox 7. I do prefer the first one, the Revox line serum just because it does contain more peptides. It, it contains eight different peptides. So this serum is actually very unique. It has a metal tip. You don't even have to apply this serum over all of your face. It's gentle enough to use under the eye area. And yes, it does smooth over your, your wrinkles and lines around the eye area. Now I also did apply it on these lines here. And then generally with whatever is left over, from whenever I apply it, I will apply it all over my face. And that seemed to work perfectly well. The Revox 7 is a little bit less expensive. It contains seven different peptides. It contains GABA. It's overall a good serum, actually. I did enjoy it, but I didn't see it to be as fast acting as the first one. But eventually it will get you there. So if you want to save yourself $30, I, I think both of them are kind of unique in their own way. The next peptide serum that I want to tell you about is Matrixyl 3000, and I particularly like the one from, from Timeless. Now, Matrixyl 3000 is actually a patented serum. It was patented by Sderma a while ago. So there are a lot of different brands that are making Matrixyl 3000 serums. I like the one from Timeless because I trust the brand. I have used a lot of different products by Timeless. I also like their, their packaging. Their, their packaging is just adorable. I don't know if you've ever tried timeless, but their vitamin C is technically an exact copy of C ferulic, and it's like a quarter of the price. But the vitamin C is in a yellow bottle, this one is pink, they also have a variety of other different serums, and they're very colorful as well, and it just kind of brings me a little bit of happiness and joy in my life. Going back to Matrixyl 3000, there's a bunch of clinical trials on this, 92-98% of the people in the clinical trials reported less wrinkles, smoothed wrinkles. So Matrixyl 3000 is a complex peptide that actually works. Also, this is actually the least expensive product here. I think it's um, under $30 for one ounce and you can buy even the big bottle. It comes in two sizes, one ounce and, and four ounces. But this is actually a fantastic product that is proven to work. And the last brand I wanna to talk to you about is Skin perfection. This little thing here, and this is, as you can see on the bottle, it says Cynic. So this is a pure concentration of Cynic. This is a little kind of a trick that I can teach you. You can make technically any inexpensive, any affordable serum. You can make it into a peptide. You can make it into a very, very expensive peptide just by adding a few drops of this. As I mentioned before, Cynic is a neurotransmitter peptide, so you will function. It simulates the effects of Botox. I usually keep this in the fridge, but I I will take a bottle of, let's say, cheap, inexpensive hyaluronic acid or any inexpensive serum that doesn't really do anything, but I just have there on the shelf. What you do with that, for every ounce of that product that you have, you add 45 drops of this. And yeah, this comes in a, in a pipette. Now you automatically have your very inexpensive, useless, product, you've turned it into a very expensive neurotransmitter peptide. And yes, this is fairly inexpensive. And it's also, I have to say, the real deal. It is coming 
directly from the company that patented Cynic. So that's a little trick in skincare that I absolutely had to share with you. I'll take a little pause here to tell you the qualifications for the skincare giveaway that I'm doing today. In the description box, kind of in the beginning, there is a, a, a sign up link that lets you sign up for my free email newsletter. This is protected by the security of my website. It actually directly takes you to my website, but it's simply asking you for your email address and your name. If you can give me that information that I can extract that and have a pool of people so I can randomly select three winners. And for those of you who have already signed up, thank you so much, you automatically qualify. And obviously you have to be subscribed to this channel and I'd really appreciate it if you leave me a comment below, if you leave me a note, if you leave me a question. And these are the best 10. I find all of them to work. As you can see, they're slightly different from each other. I think I love all of them. If you have questions, obviously ask me down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.